Let's look at a short problem on uh, structural dynamics. Uh, you're given that a uh, one-story building, which is idealized as a single garden supported by weight trace column as shown in the figure below. So it's a one-story, so it's a single degree of freedom. So in order to evaluate the dynamic properties of this structure, a free vibration test is made. Again, now we are given information is a free vibration or single degree of freedom system. So the garden is displaced laterally by hydraulic jack and then suddenly released. So it's not forced vibration. During the jacking operation, it's observed that a force of uh, 89 kilonewtons, yeah? so we have this as a force, is required to displace the garda by 5.08 millimeters. After the instantaneous release, so this is this force is just to uh, to initiate the motion. So after the instantaneous release, the initial displacement, the maximum of the initial displacement, the maximum displacement of the first return swing is this. So you see, there is, the, there is a reduction in the amplitude so the initial displacement was 5.08 uh the after one swing okay is 4.064 millimeters so it shows that there is a decline in uh amplitude telling you there is damping and that's why in this figure here you have this the damping part and the period now to cause this damping the td is 4.1.4 seconds so you require to determine uh, from this information the effective mass of the garda so what is the mass m of this platform, the damped frequency, right, omega d, the damping properties, in this case, damping properties, this refers to like uh, the logarithmic decrement, the um, damping ratio and the critical damping coefficient and so on. Eh? And then also the amplitude after six cycles, because we know that the amplitude, if you remember how we were learning this, that with the damping, it's go on decreasing, decreasing logarithmic decrement until the motion stops. So we want to know after six cycle what will be this amplitude. This is the initial amplitude here, the U node. After one cycle U1, you can see it's 4.064. So you can even calculate the logarithmic decrement. So uh, let's solve this. Uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I believe this is the best uh, time to do so. Thank you for your continued support. You are given a number of things. So it's always good to note what you have so that you know what you're supposed to. To calculate. So you are given one, you are told that for a force of 88.9 kilonewtons, okay, 90 kilonewtons, we can uh, obtain a static displacement of 5.08 millimeters or times 10 to the power minus 3 meters. So this tells you that you can be able, because you know that F is equals to K a delta, so this tells you that you can be able to calculate the stiffness as F over the displacement, right? Number two, you're also given uh, that the initial displacement amplitude, which is the initial displacement, U naught, is equal to 4.064 uh, meters. And uh, the damping period is 1.4 seconds. So that's the information you have. You are required first to determine the effective mass of the garden. Now, we are going to do it one way, and then we are going to confirm or to see that even if we followed another route, we still got the same uh, uh, answer. You know the damping period TD, because it's what you have. You move from what you have. Damping period TD is equals to 2 pi over damping uh, uh, frequency, aggregate frequency. Now, we do not have this. Uh, damping aggregate frequency, of course, from our previous uh, lessons and videos that you can watch, is equals to uh, the odd, uh, natural frequency, the square root of 1, minus damping ratio xi squared. Eh? Now, and we say that eh, for, for mostly for most uh, structural systems, this damping ratio is in orders of less than 20%. So if you even square that, this value is truly true. And that's why we assume that omega d can be approximated to be close to omega. Not always the case, but it's a reasonable assumption. Already we know our system structural system with rigid, uh, uh, rigid guard. Eh? So you're saying that uh, this damping uh, uh, ratio is not uh, uh, very high. So we can, we can assume to be expected as that. Therefore, you're saying TD can be approximated using 2 pi of omega D to be omega. And of course, we know that uh, omega, the aggregate of frequency, is equal to the square root of uh, K of M. Okay? K of M, where K is the stiffness and M is the mass. Okay. Remember now we wanted an expression where you have Rm to determine the mass of the garden. That's why you suddenly you are saying Td is approximate equal to, it's not exactly equal to, but approximate equal to 2 pi of a omega, which is equal to 2 pi of a m of a k. So you can make now m the subject of the formula. The Whatever remains now is just substituting the values of known. 
you know the what TB, uh, the damping uh, uh, period 1.4, and uh, K, okay, K, which is uh, K, uh, of course, remember here I said given the force and the displacement. So just this force given here, the value of force is given in this part. So you substitute here, plug in here, divide by the displacement. You are able to get this mass M. Remember, we have made an assumption. There's an assumption that we have made here. That's why we are saying it's approximately. Even the mass itself, we are saying it's approximately. I'm going to show you again now uh, that it's correct. Uh, the difference is very small. Now, the second part was to determine the, the frequency, okay? The damped frequency. And you say damped frequency, of course, uh, it's determined two ways. One of them is the uh, frequency, one minus z squared. This is the damping uh, 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 co coefficient, uh, damping ratio, sorry, damping ratio. Again, it's the same as omega d is equals to 2 pi alpha because of, of already, already we know two, uh, 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 angular frequency is equals to 2 pi alpha. We tell you there. Remember the expression in the part one that we have already solved. So you just need to plug in the values to get this as 4.48 rads per second, right? So let's get the logarithmic decrement. We know that uh, logarithmic decrement is obtained by the natural log of the un, un plus one. So two subsequent, two subsequent, uh, uh, what you call the, uh, the, the the amplitude. So this is the first amplitude there. So we are saying this is a u note. So u note plus n one is u one. So we can go directly and say, because you already have u note, what was given and the u one after one cycle, so you can be able to get the logarithmic dec decrement for that as given here. Again, damping ratio, xi, okay, is given by, now this is where now you see there's also the approximation equation is telling you for, for, for very, you know, for rigid uh, structure and for our uh, structural system usually, uh, the damping, the xi is rather small. So even if uh, we try, because this is derived from the, 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 the fact that uh, uh, the, the, uh, we, we can be able to express using there's a, a, a component one, okay, square root of one xi squared. So you see this component itself, in this part, the damping ratio is very small. It tells you that it's almost like one minus something nearing zero. So the value will just a square root of, of one. So you just plug in the value here, we have calculated the damping uh, decrement by two pi, you get this to be 3.55, okay? Then finally go to damping uh, coefficient. Uh, damping coefficient C is equal to uh, xi or damping ratio times uh, the critical uh, damping coefficient, okay? This one, of course, expression, you can obtain them from our previous uh, lecture, of course, I always leave it in the link because now what is left is just to plug in uh, some parameters here. But what I'm interested in here is to show you these assumptions that we are making. Eh? Okay, like now here, let me clarify where we of where we have come from. Eh? You know, um, the equation of motion for for uh, damped free vibration. Eh? The equation of motion is u uh, double prime plus c velocity plus k u is equals to zero. Where uh, the typical solution for this we found was equals to u is equals to c e less to uh, exponential less to lambda t. And in solving for uh, this lambda. Okay, so you can, uh, you know, get the derivative, uh, differentiate this once and twice, and then you substitute the, the solution here, and then you will cancel out the common factor. We are left out with the solution of uh, uh, this equation, what you call the characteristic equation, plus C lambda plus K is equal to zero. And this quadratic equation is where now we are solving to get the root for lambda. So we got that lambda one, lambda two, you know, because there are two roots, it's a quadratic equation, is equals to, uh, minus c of a 2m plus or minus the square root of c of a 2m squared minus k of a m. I hope you remember this. If you have not, you can borrow our lessons on structural dynamics. You have a whole series of eight lectures, introduction to structural dynamics. You can go through that. I believe this is lesson number two. Okay, I'll leave the link above there. You can uh, follow the same. So from here, Whatever we are saying is that the value that is above this uh, below below the square root eh? for the critical C, eh? C is C critical, damping critical when this component minus this component is equal to zero. 
whatever is under the square root, or C of a 2M squared, this will be critical if this is equals to K of a M, or this minus C is equals to zero, okay? And in, do, in doing so now, you can make C critical the subject of the formula. This way you can obtain C critical to be equals to um, two, the square root of Km. And you can go for that because you already know what is K, you know, working with omega and pi, uh, K of a M, so that now we simplify this to be in this format, okay? So that's when we obtain that. Then you plug in your value, you get the answer here. Now, what I wanted to mention is that if you try, because we did some assumption, we say that omega d can be approximated to be the same as omega. Assume that we wanted first to get uh, omega. Assuming that first we determine this uh, damping uh, uh, ratio, and then we try to get the omega, the undamped frequency, so that now we can go and calculate the mass, eh, part one. Eh? So you just need to plug in uh, these values. Eh? You just need to, to plug in uh, the value omega d. This is a uh, 4.4, because this one we calculated directly. Eh? 4.48, 4.48 is equal to omega, okay, the square root of one minus xi squared. So if you make, of course, now you're thinking you have calculated this value already here, 0 0.0355. If you substitute here, you are going to get omega and damped frequency to be about 4.482 something. It's very close. So our assumption in the previous slide is correct. Finally, remember, uh, a logarithmic decrement is expressed as if u note or u, let's say u note of uh, un, n where is the sixth cycle or the fifth cycle or whatever cycle it is, eh? yes, same as writing u note of a u1, u1 of a u, u1 of a u2, u2 of a u3, u3 of a u4, and so on, four for them, u3 of a u4, continue like that, okay. This one is giving us uh, uh, subtitles, eh? no problem with that anyway. Now, the same case now writing this, so you are talking of U0 to U6. Eh? You go to uh, U3, U4, U5, U5, U6. Okay? So, and the, either of these, you know, either of these, if all this is the logarithmic decrement. So, what does this tell you? If you may, if you put it in a, a no you you invert so it's like u six of a u note the same as u one of a u note is power six okay therefore you'll get u note or v note whatever it is is equal to u one of a u note raised to power six times of course now a u note so this is u six and this is what now we are doing here. You're substituting this value, this value here, and then you multiply by u naught to get this. So it's a simple problem. If there is any, you have any comment on the same, uh, let me get them in the comment section. So let's continue learning, continue subscribing, sharing. Our channel is really growing, and we are really grateful. Dr. Gadeba Education Center, we are really grateful for you. Let's meet you on the next uh, tutorial. Bye-bye.